Hi there, Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 23rd of May. The blue moon, which occurred in your sign at the end of last week, is still going to be very much in evidence this week. This is about you making some decisions about the type of relationships you want. Because through to the middle of June, when there is another blue moon, also in your sign, there is an opportunity for you to really grapple with trying to develop just the type of idolised tie that perhaps you've always wanted. On the other hand, perhaps you're going to become much more appreciative of someone who's already in your world. But your independent spirit sometimes makes it difficult for you to commit and give up your independence and freedom. But if ever there was a period which can assuage some of your fears, it could be this one. But it's not going to be perfect. As ever, there's contrasts and textures and different colours which are going to give you some options and perhaps also some challenges. But the story of this week begins with Mercury going forwards. So the little details of life, which you often find rather tiresome, well, they can just seem to fall into place that much easier. The sun, which moved late last week into your sector of relating and competitiveness, is joined by the glamorous and charming energies of Venus on Tuesday. The two join together in a conjunction from Thursday, which lasts through to the 17th of June. This is really very special, and it can help you to cultivate just that little bit more diplomacy when it comes to interacting with others, and perhaps be a little bit less aware of the need to maintain your own individuality, which is quite important to you, as I said before. However, there are some other influences running on from last week, which are trickier. Not least that Jupiter, your ruler, continues to be conflicted by strict Saturn in your sign and its opposition with Neptune in your sector of emotions and family life. Therefore, I don't think you're going to get everything on your own terms. I think a little bit of give and take and compromise is going to be part of what makes things come together for you. If you're prepared to enter into the spirit of this, I do feel that things can take a step forward really positively. But right at the end of this week, there are two influences that I think some people may not flag up quite so much. And one of them is the quarter moon, which occurs in Pisces. And it's suggesting that someone around you, their emotional responses may be quite different to yours. And just because you get into the mood to be a little bit more interactive doesn't mean to say that other people are instantly going to fall in with this new mood or mode that you're going to be emanating. So some patience is going to be important. But lastly, Mars, the power planet, which is very much to do with instant gratification, moves out of your sign, but back into a really quite tricky area, the 12th solar house. He's going to be tracking backwards here, right through until the first week of August, and in retrograde until the end of June. I think there's some kind of unfinished business, which you still need to grapple with. And if you do find yourself more inhibited around the potential of close relationships than you'd really like, is there something in your history that's stopping you living in the here and now in the way that really would see you reach your higher spiritual and romantic potential? Think about it. There may be something that you were quick to move on from, to really escape, because sometimes around emotional issues, Sagittarius people do find it's easier to move on to the next exciting adventure rather than to rattle around in the depths of their own psyche. And I think it's possible that there could be some scars that re revisited can be cleaned up and help you to be even tenderer and more receptive to that potential that I speak of. And with the sun aligning with Venus in this marvellous way, if you can get everything lined up in your own personal efforts and awareness, then this could be the most magical period for relationships the next month that you've ever experienced but it is down to understanding that it cannot be all on your terms. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.